Welcome back to God's 411. My name is Jim, and this lovely, beautiful person beside me is my wife, Kim. That's where you're supposed to say hello. Get, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to be taking a look at a sin which a lot of us, I believe, are stuck in, and we probably don't realize that we're committing this sin. I don't think you realize that I didn't until no. you brought this up. I'm like, oh my goodness. And the sin is idolatry. And idolatry comes in a lot of forms, but today we're going to be taking a look at one specific area, and that is people pleasing. Which you would think is a sin. Yep. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at just what idolatry is, just to refresh us. Then we're going to take a look at what the Bible says about idolatry and what the Bible says about people pleasing from Paul. What it really means to be stuck in the sin of being a people pleaser versus, you know, I just want to help that person. I want to please that person. What, what's the difference? So let's take a quick look at what, what is idolatry? Do you know what idolatry? Do you guys know what idolatry? Where's a golden calf? Oh, well, that was <laughs> back. Is one? Okay, that okay, yes, okay, one. that was back in the, the Old Testament. Okay, so let's but talk we're about talking today. like today, right? Well, I would say it's anything that you put before God. A lot of us, you know, as far as the sin of idolatry. We are all, I think there's a lot of us that are stuck in the sin and we don't even realize that we're stuck in the sin. So, I mean, like you said, anything that you put before God and, you know, something that you make number one in your life instead of God is the sin of idolatry. I mean, the, the list could go on. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, career, sports, gaming, gaming, yeah. television watching, a, a hobby, a car. Yeah. I mean, it's just unlimitless. Well, I think that's what most people find. There's a misconception that you think that it has to be a statue of some Right, sort, like a Buddha. Know, an idol right. of some sort. And it doesn't have to be. No. So Kim has two verses from the Bible. Of course I do. <laughs> which tap on the sin of idolatry and yeah. what God thinks about idolatry. Let me tell you what God says about idolatry. I would love to hear this. These are commandments. Number one and number two, actually. Right? Which I never really thought about, but this is the first and second commandment. Right. All right, so we have Exodus 23 says, you shall have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. And then Exodus 24, you must not make for yourself an idol. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. So he knew that, so he put those first two commandments by saying, this is important to me, and if you guys fall into this sin, this is going to make you fall in other places too, because you take me off of that pedestal and you put something else and worship it, which then leads probably just a whole bunch of other sins. What does the Bible have to say about being a people pleaser? And I believe that you have two more good verses about this, don't you? I always have the verses. She's a little verse girl. All right. Um, this is from Paul, and this is Galatians 1.10. And it says, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. Okay, now here's a better one. This is from Jesus. Oh, really? This okay. is from Jesus. John 5.30. I don't try to please myself, but I try to please the one who sent me. Let's take a look at what a people pleaser is that would be, that would fall into the category of idolatry versus what would just be a good person that's just wanting to please someone. I mean, what's the difference between the two? Because, you know, I love you and I want to please you, so where does, where does it go to where I fall into that sin versus just loving you and just wanting to help you and wanting to please you and do chores around the house? You do chores, right? Oh, I do too. She is such a liar, guys. You know what? I do chores, okay? <laughs> you do that. You do. Thank you. Um, I, this is really surprising to me because I've always been a people pleaser, and my 
mom is also a people pleaser. And is she I, really? Yeah, and I've always just been really, um, I just thought that was always a good thing. I never realized that there could be two different people pleasers. But, but when, you, when you say people pleaser and you were a people pleaser, why did you want to please the people? Did you seek their approval or you just were doing it to make them happy? Well, I never thought about it, but I was, I'm always just trying to make them happy. I just love a smile on a person's face because that just warms my heart. So you really didn't care whether I didn't they approved need them to go, of you oh, or you're not. you're so wonderful. You didn't I need did, that. In fact, I don't like that. <laughs> so here are some traits that would put you guys into the classification of being a people pleaser slash idolater. Okay. Idolater? Is that a good word? Okay. So number one, yeah. people pleasers allow other people's opinion to take first place in their life. Mm. So, you know, I can see that. You value that person's opinion so much that it you want their opinion to be number one in your life. I mean, that's all you care about is... Well, I was, I was going to say, you know, the more we talk about this, the more... I always do a heart check. I mm -hmm. always... Whenever we talk about stuff, I'm just asking the Holy Spirit to convict me. And I sit, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, I don't necessarily want the person to accept me or um, I'm not trying to, like... Their opinion doesn't mean everything to you. Yeah, but I'm sitting here thinking, you know, it matters so much to me that, that they feel loved mm -hmm. and that they love me back. Mm -hmm. And so am I... I'm but what happens if they didn't love there. you back? What happens if they didn't love you back? Well, if they didn't, then I'm a, I'm a, You're, it makes me sad, but it's not like I go, oh my gosh, they have to love me. That's you know, and if, if this person didn't respond... If you got depressed and discouraged because they just didn't respond to your people pleasing, that would also be a good sign because it just matters too much to you. Number two, other opinions become your God because they matter more than God's opinion. You know, we're always supposed to seek God's approval and not man. I think there's some verses in the Bible that kind of point to that. And it's hard because we do live in a world where we want to be accepted by people. But then when you cross that line where, again, you get really depressed and discouraged and you lose your self-worth because their opinions of you are not good and you don't look to God for your self-worth, you've crossed the line. Number three, you don't want to tell people you're a Christian because you're afraid of what they might think about you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I never thought that this was a people pleaser, but it really is. Yeah. Because, and you know, I've felt this sometimes in my life because, and it really boils down to that I'm afraid I won't be accepted by other people. If I'm saying I'm a Christian, they might go, oh, you're just one of those little religious guys or... You know, that's really crossing the line. and Yeah, you know, I, I never really thought of it as being accepted, but I always felt like they wouldn't want to have anything to do with me. But then your like opinion matters. Yeah, well, then their it, opinion yeah. matters more than what God thinks yeah. I mean, about I you. I kind of looked at it differently. So you really have to, you really got to do a heart check on all this. This is, a, 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 I think, really what it boils down to, is that you place your value and your self-worth in that other person versus your value and self-worth into God and what he thinks of you and what he says in the Bible. And you know what? Man will always let you down. Oh my goodness, that is just so and, true. And God never will. And I've seen people who have been very hurt by people in the church, by their friends, by their family oh, yeah. because they put all of their worth into that person's opinion or how they value you. If you guys would like to support our ministry, you can do so in several ways. You can look at becoming a channel member and there's a join button right below Kim. Check that out. You can look at giving us a one-time donation to our ministry. There's a link in the description. Or Kim makes these really creative t-shirts on Teespring, which goes to support our ministry. There is a link in the bottom to our store. So now let's go to the opposite end of the scale. Okay, okay, so now we told you what the bad type of people pleaser is. 
what's you know what's a good people pleaser? I mean, well, you kind of touched on it. You did know, I? You'd, well, you do things for another person and not expect anything in return. Right. I mean, you want to please that person because you just love that person, or like you said, you just want to make them happy, and you don't expect anything in return. All right, you guys, let's bring it on home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's bring it on home. I'm a people pleaser, and that's what everybody likes me to say. <laughs> <laughs> is that like a 12-step program? Hi, my name is Jim, and I'm a people pleaser, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I'm okay with that. You're, right, okay we, that you're okay that you're a people pleaser? Yeah, because I'm not an idolater. Okay. See? Yeah. That was the whole lesson of the wow, video. You, you guys get listen. it? I got it. Obviously, you didn't get it. Okay, you guys. We hope you had fun with that. Yeah. And we hope that that helps and you find yourself doing a little heart check. You know, I also like the heart check because it's another way to um, grow in your relationship with God because yeah. you're sitting and you're talking and discussing what I need to do differently and you're listening to his word and it just makes that just a stronger relationship. It does. So we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.